Good afternoon, everybody. Colin here with Tech Out. Today I'm going to show you some of the iPad Pro specific features with the Apple Pencil on iOS 11. Had to go pick up another Apple Pencil for this video because the one I bought when the um, 9.7 inch iPad Pro came out last year can't find it anywhere to save my life, so I picked up another one. Um, I do like using the Apple Pencil. Um, I don't do a lot of drawing and stuff like that, but I, I do like using it for um, taking notes and stuff like that and using it as a stylus. I know people are going to hate on that, but whatever. Um, so one of the cool things is with this is on the lock screen, go ahead, let's see, let me put it in landscape, turn rotation lock off, and turn it around. So you can, you can touch it with the Apple Pencil and it will open up a notes app. Um, and you can just start taking notes. I'm not going to write anything specific because it's too hard to write from this angle. So you can take notes like that. If you want to view the rest of the notes, you have to unlock it. Um, but if you put it back asleep and wake it up again, I think the lock screen has to be on. You can't just tap it. So you uh, tap it like that and it will open up the notes app. Um, I'm hoping they're make, they'll make it so it's a little bit faster. Like you can't write on it right now because um, it tries to act like a stylus, you have to tap it and then you can start taking notes. You can't just start writing and have it pop up. Um, but it will pop back into your old notepad. If you unlock it, you can go into settings and you can choose under notes how long it will um, keep that note, that page. So you can set how um Set a time limit for returning to previous notes. You can do never, five minutes, 15 minutes, one hour, one day, or always. Um, so that's pretty cool. You can turn on and off the Apple Pencil features right here. So only draw with Apple Pencil. It won't let you draw with your hand when the Apple Pencil is connected. Um, you can turn that on if you're having issues with palm rejection and stuff like that. Um, I'm not, but I just like it so I can scroll with my finger, use my Apple Pencil for writing and drawing. And then allow unlock screen is the unlock feature that allows it to be unlocked. So everything else with the Apple Pencil and the iPad Pro is the same. There's no other changes that I've noticed other than that note section. Um, it still works as a stylus. I know they almost removed that in one of the iOS 10 betas. Um, but in iOS 11 it is still here. You can use it for um, you know scrolling in apps, everything like that. You can't really pull up the dock with it because you have to start off the screen. Um, so that doesn't really work with the Apple Pencil. You do have to use your finger for that still. Um, but accuracy is really good. Like I said, this is the 9.7 inch iPad Pro. It's not the new one with the ProMotion 120 hertz. So you don't get the smooth, um, super smooth uh, response with it like you would on that iPad. And you can also, like if you have notifications, don't know if I have any right now on this iPad. Let's see. Um, you can... Let's see if I can get it. You can't, yeah, I can't get it with that with it at the single, but you can use the Apple Pencil almost like a 3D touch tool for clearing notifications. It doesn't work on anything else other than that, but you can use that for um, pressing hard on the clear button and you can clear all notifications like you would on a 3D touch device. This has been Colin with Tech Out with the Apple Pencil on iOS 11. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos down below, and have a great day.